Hi, my name's Scott and welcome to another episode of Technically Speaking. Today we're here with two 1300cc Hayabusas. Now, one of the questions that we get asked a lot on social media is, does Haltech control my motorbike? Now, the answer is definitely yes. So, your motorbike's got a two or a four stroke engine, just exactly the same as your motor car, so the ECU will control your engine exactly the same way and all of the functionality of your bike, just like in your car. So, today we've got a stock aspirated Hayabusa, as well as a turbocharged drag bike. So, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the drag bike, uh, it's using a lot of the Haltech ECU functionalities. So on this, we're using our flat shifting so that we can hold the throttle flat while we're shifting our gears. We've got a boost control strategy that uses boost by gear and boost by time. Uh, we're also set up with our race pack logging dash as well so that we can do all of our data analysis and then come back after the run's finished. The first function we're going to talk about today is the full throttle shifting. Now, on a motorbike, basically what we're doing is we're holding our throttle grip wide open. As we're pulling through the gears, there's actually a micro switch that's sending a signal to the ECU. Now, that signal cuts the ignition signal so that the engine actually loses a few uh, spark events. It allows you to pull into the next gear nice and easily. Then an ignition timer starts. So we actually also retard the ignition timing so that as you pull the next gear, uh, you can control how far the front wheel lifts um, as well as any wheel spin that may be happening. Now, this Hayabusa being turbocharged also needs boost control. Now, the boost control on this bike is being done via road speed, via gear, and via time. So basically, as we launch the bike, we use our anti-lag launch control. So we bring the throttle up, it builds boost pressure on the line. The closed loop boost controller is actually working even on the anti-lag, so it's adjusting the wastegate to get us to our launch pressure. Now, as we launch the bike, we'll pull all the boost out of it in first gear so we can actually get it to take off. As we grab second gear, the boost will start to come in, so we'll be staging to about six to eight pounds in second gear, somewhere around there. As we grab third gear, it'll go to about 12-ish pounds, somewhere there. Um, in fourth gear, it'll be at full boost, so somewhere around 18 pounds on a GT30 frame turbocharger. So, that's a really good traction strategy in order to get this bike off the line and get it to the end of the track. Uh, it's using the Sport Series ECU. Now, if it was using the Elite Series ECU, uh, we've also got a bunch of traction control strategies where we can drop cylinders um, from the rate of acceleration of the drive shaft. So that's something that we'll go into a little bit more detail on on one of our next videos. Keep in mind that you don't need to be turbocharging your bike to need a Haltech ECU. So, this one is, this is a full stock bike. Um, if we plan to either add compression, um, bore it to a larger engine size, add nitrous, something like that, this is exactly what you'd be doing. So you'd use your Haltech ECU, all the same functionality applies, you simply wouldn't be using the boost control part of the system. Now we will be doing a lot of testing on this bike, so we are going to be doing a lot of launch control strategy, a lot of two-step strategy, um, a couple of dyno pulls just to make sure our boost control strategy is working correctly. So make sure to click here to check it out. My name's Scott, thanks for watching. <laughs>